killer accountant Rice will feel the walls closing in on him next week after Debbie's death but he has more shocking confessions for Sonia. EastEnders Rice Colwell becomes wrapped up in more lies next week after killing his wife, and has to face the music with girlfriend Sonia Fowler. On Wednesday, Rice shockingly smothered his comatose wife Debbie as her care home debts began to mount. Debbie had been in a coma for some time after suffering a stroke but Rice turned into a killer to clear his debts. Initially, Rice was using Debbie's money to fund his and partner Sonia's IVF treatment. The accountant has also stolen £13.5,000 from Sharon Watson her business partner Phil Mitchell is on to him to get his money back after Rice planned to invest the money. Next week, Phil catches up with Rice after spotting him in the square and demands a return on his investment, but pregnant Sonia watches on from afar. Wanting to know what is going on between Phil and her boyfriend, Sonia asks Rice what the local hard nuts problem is. Initially Rice tries to cover up his latest lie but he soon reaches breaking point and admits he has stolen Phil's money. Sonia is left shocked by Rice's latest dishonesty but she puts her feelings to one side and the pair visit Debbie. Shortly before they set to the care home, the police pay Rice a visit to inform him that Debbie's post-mortem is complete and he is allowed to see her while they wait for the results. But Sonia soon becomes entangled in another lie thanks to deceitful Rice. While at the care home, Rice and Sonia bump into Debbie's parents Brenda and Hugh Collins, played by Michael Burton Shaw and Nicola McAuliffe, leaving widow Rice with some serious questions to answer. Rice will need to overcome the hurdle that Debbie's parents have no idea about partner Sonia's existence, that she is Rice's new girlfriend and they are having a baby. The situation becomes tense when Brenda begins asking probing questions. Sonia offers her condolences to Debbie's parents, who don't recognize her. Sonia is taken aback when Rice introduces her as his landlady, hiding the truth about their relationship, but she plays along. They then head to number 25 for refreshments. After convincing Sonia why he hasn't revealed their relationship to Brenda and Hugh, they are caught kissing by Brenda, forcing Rice to admit the truth. Later, Brenda and Hugh overhear Sharon and Teddy discussing Rice and are shocked by what they learn. And will Sonia ever get sick of Rice's deceitful behavior?